So this is the vehicle we're going to be doing the hail damage on, and we're going to show you how we access it with a carbon tech rod from the tail light pocket all the way down without taking the bed cap off. Dennis Alexander here with Dennis Alexander here with Dan Barron. Today's video is going to be special for hail damage repairs on the bedside of a pickup truck. This video is going to show a GMC Sierra extended bed. I think this one's like six and a half to nine feet. It's a pretty big bed. Anyways, what I typically use for bedsides, if I can get access, I will use a um, carbon tech rod and I'll extend it out and I'll extend it out as far as I can to get all the way to the back of the bed and all the way to the front of the bed. If you can't get access with a carbon tech rod and you can and you're able to take off that bed cap, that's another great. Uh, for example, Ram 1500s, 2500s, you can take off the bed cap. Got a lot of slots. Um, Ford F-150s, GMCs, they're all great for that. So take off those bed caps, take out those tail lights, get access into the back, and we're going to show you how we use extensions on our rods, our carbon tech rods, to allow us to get to the bottom of the bed sides towards the bed, the back of the bed. Yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, thumbs it up. If you hated it, thumbs it down. Let me know what you think. Enjoy the video as always. If you like the video, let me know. If you hated the video, let me know as well. That's perfectly fine with me. If there's anything you want to know, leave a comment and I'll get back to you with the best information I can possibly come up with. This is our vehicle today. Truck. We're going to be fixing these dents down here with an extension for the tips. We'll show you how that's done. A little Ram 1500 with the bed cap off. Okay, so we take the tail light out and we have access to use the carbon tech rod through the top slot and the bottom slot. You can see all those access holes you have. It's perfect for doing hail damage. So I'm using this blending hammer to show you essentially what it's like using a carbon tech rod inside the bed. So imagine that this um, blending hammer is the carbon tech rod and I'm showing you as we go through the tail light, and we're going to be fixing the top portion of this bedside with a carbon tech rod without any extensions on the tips. And we're just going to be using a twisting action to fix the top of the bedside. So here's the carbon tech rod with two extensions. I believe they're both two inches or three inches. They're the E3s from Dentcraft. You can check those out from their website. They're great for extensions. They have a lot of power and allow you to get more torque for the lower portion of the bedside in front of the tire. So here is the blending hammer with the extension on it. So you're gonna go through the tail light pocket and you're gonna put it down there and essentially you're gonna twist at the bottom and you can kind of see the uh, tip. It's kind of how it's gonna be with the carbon tech rod inside that bedside. Just an all twisting action and really can't do much pushing because there's not a lot of um, room to really push so you're going to be more twisting than you are pushing so here's the uh, e2 version of the dentcraft extension they have e1 e2 and e3 i'm pretty sure those are the only ones they have if not you can check those out on the website and see what all they have okay so the carbon tech rod is i think this one's got two extensions on it and i believe it's around nine feet so it goes all the way down that bedside obviously you can tell i have a r4 cherry tip and the very sharp tip, I don't even know what it is, but it's from Dentcraft. And I'll put that rod all the way down that tail light pocket. You can reach all the way to the um, edge of the bed and get all kinds of access you're going to want to fix anything on those bedsides. And today's theme, turn shit into sugar. Your lack of resources can be to your advantage, forcing you to be more creative and inventive with the little that you have. This comes from the 50th Law, um, written by 50 Cent. It's a great book. I re recommend it to anyone, especially when you're starting a business. This is perfect for that. And if you like the video, please leave a, a comment below and let me know what your thoughts were. Thumbs that sucker up. Thumbs it down if you hate it. I'm fine with that too. We're learning here. Thanks, guys. As always, have a great day.